Hi guys, it's me, Shantae, and welcome back to Shake It Up with Shantae. If you've been here before, welcome back as always, and thank you guys so, so much. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome, 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 and thank you guys as well. Today, I'm gonna be showing you all how to make some fresh green beans the easy and simplest way ever. I mean, very, very simple, easy peasy, no hard work at all. I know we all like green beans. Most of us cook them out of the can or you gotta pick them and shuck them, but I'm gonna show you how to do fresh green beans. Very, very simple. Without further ado, let's shake something up. All right, y'all. Let me just show you the green beans that you need. This is a Kroger brand green bean, but they're fresh green beans. Let me open the bag and show you all. I'm gonna actually cook this whole bag because this is gonna be, this is a 32 ounce bag of green beans. They are fresh green beans, okay? You don't have to use the Kroger brand. If you wanna get a name brand, you can. These have already been trimmed, washed, and ready to eat or cook or however you wanna do it. You can use these and put these in your salad if you want to, but I like to cook them with me some pork. So if you like pork, honey, this is the video for you because I will be cooking these with some smoked pork neck bones. But if you don't like pork or you don't want any meat and you just wanna cook them just the green beans, just cook just the green beans, okay? But I like to use these green beans and they sell them everywhere, fresh in the bag like this. I've seen these at Kroger, of course, Publix, Ingles, Walmart. They sell them in a the bag, fresh green beans, just like this, okay? So I have a few red potatoes that I'll be putting in there. Um, I have an onion. I have a half a stick of unsalted real butter. And this is, I'm gonna be using the smoked pork neck bones. These are smoked pork neck bones. Let me take them out of the pack so you can see. I think these these green beans, by the way, was like six dollars. And these um, this is a five pound pack of um, smoked pork neck bones. This is actually gonna be my meat that goes with this. The potatoes, all one meal. I'm gonna cook this all together. But I think I paid about four dollars for this. And this is how they look. Really, really meaty. Already smoked, but I'm gonna let them cook, of course. So then you have your seasonings, which I have some garlic powder I'll be using, some onion powder, some salt, some pepper, some chopped garlic, and some paprika. And I'm also going to get some fresh basil out of my garden. Um, by the way, speaking of garden, I'm going to go out there and get some fresh um, basil out of the garden to uh, add to my green beans. You don't have to use uh, basil if you don't want it. And I know some people don't like basil, but most of all the people I know, they do like basil, so I'm gonna be putting it some in my green beans. But um, I wanna thank everybody that watched the garden video. For me to be a first time gardener, I felt really, really good from all the feedback and comments that I received. Um, please, please share the video, share the garden video, because there, I know there are people out there like me who have never gotten before, and they don't know that first time trying something, first time doing something, you can succeed. So share, share, share that video. I thank you guys so, so much. To all of my new subscribers, all of my new subscribers, thank you guys so, so much, and I appreciate it if you share the videos. Share, share, share. I also have a playlist. Um, I would love it if you guys um, watch my playlist and share. I really, really appreciate that as well. Um, yeah, about the garden video, I got so much feedback. I'm gonna have another garden video, an Ashley backyard tour. Somebody asked me about a whole backyard tour. The first week of August, um, I'm gonna do another video of me. I think I'm gonna plant some collard, some cabbage, and some um, squash, some butternut squash. I do know that, don't know what else, but I do know that. So y'all gotta stay tuned for these videos. I see that people like the garden videos. If you know anybody that garden, please share my video with them because hey, my first time and I'm super, super happy and excited and I'm gonna keep that garden thing going on because I like it. All right, so back to these green beans. All right, so I have my water boiling here in my pot for my green beans already. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and rinse my green beans again, even though it says they've already been washed. But, of course, you know, you got to rinse them again. And I'm going to wash my meat off. However you wash your meat, wash your meat. But I'm going to do mine, and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so I've washed my um, smoked neck bone off. And when I tell y'all these things, 
they smell smoky. If you don't want to use neck bone, you don't have to use neck bone like I said. And if you also have some fresh neck bones, you can use those too. You can use the fresh neck bones too. I just like the smoked ones better. It give it a, a better flavor. So what I'm doing now is I'm adding my neck bones to my pot of boiling water. I'm going to cover this before I even put my green beans in here or my potatoes. I'm actually going to cover this and let it cook down for about 45 minutes. Um, in about 30 minutes, we'll come back and check on it, and I'll let you guys see how that's going. And I actually went out real quick and grabbed some of the basil out of the garden, and I have it here in a in a little bowl. I just put it in cold water. This is this is kind of how I clean it. I rinsed it once, and then I have it just sitting here in cold water and some salt. That's just a clean thing for me. I don't know how you guys clean your basil or anything. You pick your herbs out of your garden, but I like to do mine this way. I've seen I've seen several people do it kind of this way, so I thought this would be better for me. So that's yeah, that's the basil I went out and it's when I tell y'all this smells so daggone good, it smells good. So yeah, I'm just gonna let this basil sit here until I get ready to use it, which will probably be towards the end. I have my smoke neck bone on right here. I'm going to let them simmer for about 45 minutes. I'm going to go ahead now, rinse my green beans and wash and cut my potatoes. Y'all, so look, I'm rinsing my green beans and even though on the package say trimmed and washed, I still like to rinse my green beans in cold water and I still like to go over them. I don't go over every one of them, but if I notice any imperfections I do, like this right here, that may not bother a lot of you guys, but I like to either break it off or cut it off or what have you. But I do look over my green beans just to make sure there's no dirt, bugs, rocks, or anything in them. I don't like imperfections to trim, but I still have to trim a few of them. But it don't be many. Like I said, this is the best way for me. I just like to go over them a little bit and see you have these, a few in here that has not been trimmed. So... I just cut the tip off just like that. But it may not be a problem for a lot of you guys. And like I said, that whole pack, which is a 32 ounce bag, it may be 10 that hasn't been quite trimmed. And that's anything, you know, that you didn't pick. So, and then look at this one, this little ugly one. I don't like that. Anything imperfection, I don't like it. If something look like it's wrong with it. But I just want to show y'all that part. Go over them. Look at them. If you find something that's soft and mushy, you can go ahead and discard those. But yeah, that's how I do my green beans, just like so. Like I said, it's probably about 10 at the most that I will actually have to trim down. And they're long, and I like mine long like this. I prefer not to... Um, cut them in half. I like them long like this. So if you want to cut them in half, you can. You can take your time and cut them in half. I don't. So I ain't cut mine in half because I like mine um, whole and long like this. So I don't cut them. But yeah. That's it. That's it, y'all. That's it for the green bean. It has been, you guys, about 45 minutes and they're kind of tender. They're not, not as tender as I like them but they're kind of tender and um, you see how cloudy the water is that's that good seasoning come off this that's that smoke that flavor that's coming off these neck bones honey that's how come I didn't put any seasonings in here at the beginning and you see the meat is coming off the bone so it's kind of getting to where I want it to be but at this point that's that's perfectly fine I'm gonna go ahead because it has been about 45 minutes I'm gonna go ahead at this point and add in my green beans that I washed early, which I'm not going to um, cut in half. And I'm going to use the whole bag. They are going to cook down just a tad bit, so don't worry, you guys. Go ahead and put those, these in, the, um, the green beans. I'm not going to put the potatoes in quite yet. I'm going to put this in, and I'm going to add some seasonings. Let me just break this little piece off my green bean right there. And this little ugly piece right here. Alright. Now I'm going to add some salt. 
may look like a lot of salt, but trust me, it's not a lot. I'm going to add some garlic powder. And you can use whatever seasonings you like, y'all. Whatever you like to taste in your green beans, you can use it. I'm going to put some onion powder. I'm going to do some black pepper. Right, I'm gonna add some paprika. Right, and I'm also gonna add my half a stick of butter. Right on top like that, it's gonna cook down. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut my onion up. I don't wanna, I don't, I don't wanna have to, I don't want you to finely chop this onion, just, you know, kind of big pieces like that because it's going to cook so just like that okay and we're going to let that cook down I only have a few potatoes you guys are going to only have four but I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to cover see I only have four potatoes I'm going to cover this let this cook down for about 30 more minutes, and then I'm gonna add my potatoes. All right, y'all, I know this is done. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Y'all know I start cutting up these potatoes, forgot I was filming, and I went ahead on and put them in the green beans, but y'all know how to do potatoes. I just, I took um, four little small, or three little small red potatoes I had, I peeled half of them, and I just diced them up in small amounts of pieces. And I let my green beans cook about 15 minutes. And I came back and dumped the potatoes in there. I added a little bit more seasoning. And that was it. And it's, now it's 15 minutes later. So this took approximately um, an hour and a half to cook this whole thing. Maybe two hours. But my neck bone, done. Look at there. Meaty, done. Potatoes perfectly cooked because you don't want your potatoes to get too mushy you want it to be a meal green beans they're done if they have a little crunch in them that's perfectly fine because i don't like my green beans mushy so i think this turned out perfect one meal green beans with my neck bone and if you decide that you want to make these green beans without any meat so you put your green beans in a pot you put you some water in there um, season it up with whatever seasoning you want to let it cook for about 20 minutes after 20 minutes add your potatoes let your potatoes cook in there maybe about 15 minutes and have them um, cook on kind of like a medium low you don't want them to cook too hard too fast that's if you and I mean that's if you just you don't know, want just the green beans but these are the perfectly some perfectly cooked fresh green beans out of the bag you don't have to do the can you want some green beans and potatoes there you go and this is so tender the the neck bone oh my goodness you all ought to smell this also i added my basil in there too once i put my potatoes i put my basil in there with it i'm gonna put me some in a little bowl because i need to eat some of these y'all mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna put me some green beans, some potatoes. Woo! I'm gonna get this neck bone right here. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna put that right there. Get me a few more. And see all the other neck bones? They at the bottom. They in here, y'all. They are in here, honey. Swimming in this pot of uh, green beans and potatoes. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to taste this. All right, y'all. So I got my green beans here in the bowl. I'm going to go ahead and taste them for y'all. Just imagine eating these with some fresh cornbread, honey, right out of the oven. Mmm. 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 Perfectly cooked potato. Mm, mm, 
Mmm. Potatoes just melt in your mouth. Mmm. 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 Woo! Mmm. Mmm. Why I tell you. Mmm. You can taste the basil. You can taste the butter. You can taste that smokiness from those smoked pork neck bone. Oh, man. Super good. Very easy way to make y'all some fresh green beans. Very, very easy. Mmm. 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 These things here is good. All you need now is some cornbread. You got you a whole meal. You got the potato, green beans, and you some neck bone. Now, if you want to do this with some chicken, you can do it. Do it with some chicken. Get you some chicken thigh, baby. All this stuff is substitutable, honey. I'm just showing you the basic. Easy way how to make you some fresh green beans. Mmm. And cook your green beans to your liking. Mmm. If you want to cook them a short of a time, and do so. I like mine to have a little crunch in it. Mmm. And some people may like their green beans smushy. Mmm. Cook them however you want. I just wanted to show you guys the easiest, simple way how to get you some fresh green beans going on, honey. And, oh my goodness, that's it. Green beans and potatoes, the easy way. If you watched this video and you loved it, go ahead and subscribe. Um, share the video. Most definitely share the video. Share, share, share. Go back and watch my garden video if you have not done so on how I grew my watermelon. Um, do that as well. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. If you watch the video, thumbs it up, please, please. If you watch the video, you watch half of the video, thumbs the video up. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell. If it works a lot of time, it does not, but hopefully it do. Don't forget to turn that notification bell on so every time I upload one of these easy peasy recipes, you'll be notified. Now, that tells me you have watched the end of the video. So I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm a few points away from having 2,000 subscribers. I told you guys once I reached 2,000 subscribers, I was going to do a giveaway. I think I'm five subscribers away. Sure, I'll be there within the next um, few hours or the next day or whatever. So if you want to be entered in that contest, I want you to leave in the comments section enter for giveaway don't share it don't tell nobody it's the end of the video so they let me know that you watched the entire video if you did not watch the entire video you will not be entered in the giveaway you will find out what that will be um maybe in the next couple of videos which will probably be in a few days maybe in about two or three days i'll come back and i'll let you know who's entered and i also do the drawing on that day so Basically, once I post the video, once this video is posted, this green bean video, once it's posted, I will accept everybody who types in, enter me in a giveaway 24 hours after the video has been dropped. So when it drops, 24 hours after that is the cutoff point to be entered into the giveaway. So until the next video, good luck, you guys, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.